In this video we're going to take a look at Unified forming part of the tier 2 challenges. Keep in mind that this video is part of my studying journey and is not meant to encourage any illegal activities. I have ran an map scan already with the usual D4 scripts and service enumeration on all ports and as a result we have quite a bit of noise. We have 22, which we know is for SSH, and we also have 6789, which I am not sure what it might be of, if I'm being totally honest. We also have 8080 and 8443. Looking at the output we have on our screen, this shows us what we are up against, a Ubiquiti controller. This is used to manage and control switches for VLANs, port profiles, etc. Also access points for Wi-Fi and so on. With all this information, I'm going to jump back into the portal to complete the first question, since we have the answer here. As for the second question, we can refer to the output of the Nmap scan, and we can also see that it's Unify Network, which we spoke about previously. To answer the next question, let's load up the web portal for Unify and retrieve the version from it. By default, the portal runs on 8443, so let's have a look here. And as we can see, we can retrieve the version from here and just answer the question on the Hack the Box portal. The next question clearly indicates that there is a vulnerability on our version, so I googled the version of Unify and found out that it's vulnerable to a log4j exploit. I copied the CVE code from here, as this should be the answer to the question we just read. I am not so sure about this question, let's have a quick look at the GitHub repo that we found earlier. And it seems like we will be using Java and Maven on our host, but not much details here. So I'm going to have a quick read of the code. And as we can see here, it submits a payload with LDAP defined, which is the protocol used by JNDI. For the next question, a bunch of tools like Wireshark or TCP dump can be used, but TCP dump is the right answer for this one. Let me set up a quick demo so I can uh, show it to you guys exactly how it works. While setting up everything, I faced some weird issues and got my connections closed and the return that I was getting back was stating API error invalid. I am not sure what the problem was exactly, I have uh, loaded things up on Burp Suite to try again and I had the same kind of end result. I have wasted a bunch of time trying to figure this out, so I'm just going to fast forward through this part. I have restarted the machine from the Hack the Box portal and also restarted my VPN client, which seems to have fixed the issue. Once the problem was fixed, I was able to repeat the request with the custom parameters and it returned an invalid payload, which is what we were expecting. As we can see here on TCP dump, we can see that the packets are coming in from the Unify appliance to our machine. Once I saw this return, I went through the process outlined in the GitHub page to install Maven, then clone the repository, and then change the directory according to the instructions on that same GitHub page. Then I also copied uh, the commands which will automatically build the package needed for this challenge, and I just made myself a cup of tea in the meantime. Once the build is complete, we can go ahead and prepare the reverse shell payload and base64 encode it. We can now just run uh, the rogue gndi file that was just compiled and this will spawn a web server as well as an LDAP server. Over here I had the wrong path and since I was already in the right directory, I removed the first part of the path. With all those building blocks in place, I just started a netcat listener so that it can accept the incoming reverse shell connections. The reverse shell payload worked, and as we can see here, I have a session established as the Unify user. Once the connection was established, I got more intrigued, so I decided to read through the website to understand better what comes next. I will be putting a link to the webpage in the description down below. Let's just go through some more questions on the portal. Over here, I'm just going to type in TCP dump, which is the application used earlier to confirm that this was exploitable. And the default port for LDAP is 389. So I'm just going to go with that for this one. 
the port and the name of the database are as shown here so i'm just going to answer the next two questions on the portal as well we can also retrieve the port of a particular service that is listening by issuing the psaux command as shown here and then grabbing the service mongo in this case and here we can see the particular port for the database question as we mentioned previously the name is ace I'm not very familiar with Mongo, so I'm just going to retrieve this from a guide that I have been following. So I will run this command to ensure that it works on our instance. And it just outputs all the admins stored on the database, which is great. This means that we can use the command up until the find portion to answer the next question. For the next one, having a look at the site, we don't seem to have much more on here. But I believe it should be .update, so I will do that manually and yeah, here we go. In order to retrieve the password, we can either crack it or retrieve it from the console itself. I will be taking the console approach, as it should be fairly easy to do. What I'll do here is add an account directly into the database and log in with the credential I will insert here. This will give me admin access to the application. Here I broke my shell so I will just re-establish it quickly and I'm going to craft the insert statement here on this console. Then just paste it in here so I won't break anything again. Moving on, I will now log on to the Unify portal with the credentials I have just added to the database. And here we go. The web application is acting a bit weird. I have tried to load up the menus, but they don't come up unfortunately. I have attempted this a few times, but I was unsuccessful. So I have decided to look at the write-up. Going through the write-up quickly, so I can see that the menus also seem off from the screenshots that are included. So I just looked for the password here and uh, here we have it. So I just SSH into the appliance with the root user and the password retrieved from the write-up. After a successful login, we can see here that we also have the root flag. I will be going back to the hack the box portal now and I will be using the password retrieved from the write-up as the answer for our next question here. We seem to have missed the user flag so I'm just going to go back to the terminal and I will uh, load up the user home folders and as we can see here we have a, a home folder for Michael which contains a user.txt file. This is most probably our flag so I'm going to use the cat command to output its contents onto our console. And here it is, I'm just going to copy and paste it onto the hack the box portal. For our final question, we can use the already retrieved root flag from the terminal we have open. Which brings us to the end of this unified challenge. If you are still around, please like this video if you haven't already, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't. And as always, stay curious, keep learning.